Okay, this is how it comes shipped. Full size pallet. Uh, strapped down to it. This came from Online Outboards. It's a 9.9 .9 Pro Kicker with a 20 inch shaft. FedEx brought it. No dents in the boxes or anything. In excellent condition. So I'm going to cut this open and I'll also add how it was packed. So just a minute and I'll cut it open. Okay, it says it comes with the gear oil in it. I definitely will double check to make sure it's in there. Uh, this is a 2022 electronic fuel injected, which is nice. I'd much rather have fuel injection, guys. So it's got a tiller handle, comes with the engine oil. Uh, it comes with a fill line and a little 3.5 gallon or 2 gallon tank. I'm not sure if I'm going to probably end up using that. I have to see how that lasts a day. Or I originally planned on teeing it off my main fill line. As long as it's all a closed loop system, that's what the big merc is. So I'll double check on that before I tee it off. But there we go looks good i will get a video of the installation on the tracker pro guide v175 i haven't seen a video on that yet so as soon as i can pick up a few other things i need with this uh i'll be putting it on next week and i'll get you a video out guys let's go on fish stalker channel if you're new to here i uh, appreciate you watching the video this is all about putting a kicker motor on a tracker deep v175 so there's the motor she's a little heavy probably it seems like it's heavier than it states when you purchase it so plus awkward to grab so definitely two-man operation or a block and pulley a lift something for that over here at the boat gonna have to get rid of this tie down hook uh relocated over here even anywhere you know maybe up here so relocate that reseal that uh this deck board has to come all the way out it's got some screws that are like tore up from the assembly at tracker i've tried to get them out before and some of them just just aren't coming out. I'll show you what the solution hopefully is here. Okay, I got a speed out. Grip it speed out right here from Lowe's. So you hit the screw with the drill bit end and then you flip it over in reverse with your drill and uh, reverses it out when it grips the screw. So I'm going to replace the screws that I have to drill. That's the one point of it that makes it difficult is the screws that are stripped. So I'll be dealing with that today. Once I get this completely removed, uh, I learned from this side there's a lot of foam that you'll be digging out. So get this board off, dig out the foam, start uh, positioning your motor where you want it and definitely drill the boat for these long bolts that come with the kit i mean it could be you need longer bolts shorter bolts also or anything in between so measure them up use stainless only you know that routine so yeah so we're gonna have the kicker on here like i said the old trolling plate's gonna go bye bye served its purpose but this will replace all that and it won't be necessary to put hours on this big motor and i can make more videos guys so it's gonna work out for the best uh, i'll show you every step as i go and how i seal holes and drill things and stuff like that through the day here uh on youtube there's videos with a guy putting self-tapping screws in there uh don't ever do something like that guys 
Don't believe everything you see on the internet. If it's not solidly bolted with good hardware, you're gonna have trouble. So you don't wanna drop this thing on the road or out in the lake. Bolt it securely and solid and permanently. So we'll go through that here today. Appreciate you watching. Okay, we got a hole in it and it's working. All right, guys, there we go. Came right out, finally. Okay, this drill bit in would not drill stainless steel. I had to get my drill bits out and get a small diameter and go real slow with oil to get it started, but got a hole in there, got it out. It's a shame when they put stuff together brand new, they tear stuff up, but unfortunately it happens, so. Maybe one of the worst parts of the job is getting tore up screws out of the deck. <laughs> okay, stay tuned. Okay, it ended up being quite a few screws that were tore up. Finally got them drilled out or beaten out. Uh, next thing is, see, well, both panels have to come off, so you see that. And the rear deck lifted away. So the next thing is digging the foam out. So I'm going to start digging some of that foam out and... Get her prepped up to go on there, guys. See what we're looking like here. So yeah, it is quite a job getting them off due to the damaged screws. Guys put them in with a drill and bad bits and crooked and everything else, so. All right, guys, I'm gonna continue to dig foam. Okay, it's coming right along. Got the foam dug out of there. Play room to drill some holes and mount it. Got the eye off, got a silicone net up on both sides, ultra black, Permatex, good strong stuff, so that's what I use. Gonna have to mark some holes here. Didn't come with these clamp screws. I think it was looking like 130 bucks for two of those, so I gotta go salvage some or hit up Ace for those, and uh, I'll be back on it and show you the rest of the progress here on the Pro Kicker. Okay, so the plastic uh, is mounted, countersunk, permanent and solid. Gonna fill some holes and put her on. You guys, uh, day three out here, I'm just doing a little bit at a time on this install, so. I got the bolts in. Bolts, nuts, washers, they're lock nuts so that they don't vibrate loose. Uh, I am ready to hook up the battery cable here today. Put the floor back in, down in it. And take, oh, I gotta remove the old trolling plate here too. That's no longer necessity. And I'm gonna get this thing fired up here today, guys. Awesome, huh? All right, I would like to show step by step, but unfortunately I'll be holding the camera in my hand and I need my hands for tools. But basically, I'm just going to slide this back after I hook up the battery cable. Right here's the battery cable. Battery's located down here in this corner. That's just two nuts. Uh, route, zip tie, whatever it requires to keep the cable out of the way. And slide this back and start putting screws back in, guys. I'm going to replace the stripped out screw heads with nice new screws. And I will be sure not to strip out the heads this time. So that in the future, that board is easily removed. So, here I go. I got one more thing here I forgot about. Almost, I didn't forget about it. But. Okay, this had to be removed. And I am just going to relocate it right there. That way we got something to pull with and our tie down to the trailer. So, I'm going to go ahead and drill that out. And I just came up with a plan to route the battery cables and it's going to be just long enough. So got lucky on that. So here we go. Going to get it. All right, guys. The oil's in it. Gas is in it. All my decks back on. One thing I need is downrigger brackets before I take her out. And honestly, guys, really the hardest part for me was all the stripped out screws from Tracker. I end up replacing this whole bag full of screws here. 
let's say got to be close to over 30 in there so that was the hardest part they didn't like to drill stainless steel so i'm gonna pull this forward light it up and we'll be done ready for the lake try to get out here this next week and get you a trolling video and show you this thing functioning too so okay we're gonna hook up the hose and light up the pro kicker we got the water to it start button i primed it my install on the 2022 mercury 9.9 .9 pro kicker efi fired right up just like i showed you in the video there toughest thing for me was the deck screws that were stripped out I replaced about 35 of them so they all got great heads on now it'll be easier to work on next time main thing is to drill and put some bolts with lock nuts and washers through the transom so it's solid not going anywhere mercury didn't include the cap screws here i salvaged mine off of a older yamaha which worked out so i believe they're trying to sell those to you now and uh we'll be ready for some fishing now guys got the downriggers back on it relocated this as i showed you silicone holes they're above the water line, all of them, pretty much. So we're golden on that. So we're ready. All right, guys, I'm going to try to get out here as much as I can. Uh, Phil's kind of got me stopped a lot on going anywhere too far. So Folsom's kind of slow. Barry S is okay. Everything's really going to be kicking off for his bite towards the top. So it's going to be looking good. I'm going to do my best to get all the content I can here now for the winter. Uh, I got a PayPal for the channel. If anybody's interested in donating so I can get more content, that'd be awesome. I'll put a link down in the description for you guys. So that'd be cool. So we're going to do all we can to get all the content out of this boat here this winter, guys. Thanks for watching. Keep subscribing and click me a like and comment. Thanks, everybody.